Hey everybody, Jason here. Welcome back to Linux for Everyone, and welcome home. So if you are new to Linux gaming, um, you might be just hearing about Proton for the first time, and you're probably hearing about Proton quite a bit, because it powers kind of the, the magic behind Steam Deck. It's, it's Valve's compatibility layer for running Windows games on Linux, and, and by extension on the Steam Deck. So now for the first time, you actually can have your PC game play on a portable device the way that it's supposed to be played, and that without actually, to be honest, doing anything. Now, Proton is, of course, built in to Steam, whether you're playing on a Linux desktop or playing on your Steam Deck. But there are some customized versions that come in really, really handy for situations just like what happened yesterday. <laughs> This week, of course, saw the release of Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I tried it the second that it was out. I tried it on my Steam Deck, and it was, well, kind of a stuttery mess, uh, borderline unplayable, which I'm sure Valve will resolve. But in the meantime, there is a wonderful gentleman named Glorious Eggroll, a.k.a. Thomas Kreider, and he has been working on a uh, kind of a twist on Proton called Proton GE. And this takes kind of the the um, the bleeding edge version of Proton and rolls in just some extra enhancements. And it can be really useful when the game won't run out of the box. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Proton GE in a really, really easy way, whether you're on Steam Deck or on any desktop Linux distribution. And I actually made a video about this uh, late last year. But, you know, the Linux world evolves and <laughs> improves so quickly that, uh, that now it's time for an entirely new guide, because the last guide was kind of uh, based on command line. And now we have a much more accessible uh, and, and easier solution. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is my Steam Deck desktop. I'm in desktop mode right now, which is basically just the KDE Plasma desktop environment. So what I'm going to show you applies across the board to just about any Linux distribution or, of course, to uh, your Steam Deck owners out there. So we're going to install an application called Proton Up, And there's two ways to do that. The easiest way is to launch your distribution's uh, app store. In this case, on KDE Plasma, it's called Discover. And this is distributed via Flatpak, which is uh, becoming an increasingly popular way of, of packaging and distributing software. So we are just going to search for ProtonUp, and we're gonna get ProtonUp QT, and we're just going to install it. That's it. No clicking next, no agreeing to license agree agreements, no, uh, you know, no typing in a password, just, it's just gonna work. Now, while this is installing, I want to show you another method, and that is app image. Now, app images are kind of a, a global solution that should work across any Linux distribution, just like flat packs. But if you don't have flat pack installed and you don't want to mess with that, you just want to go to this URL from the developer, his uh, github.io page, which I will have linked in the description for you. So we're just going to go to his uh, project page and click get it. And we are going to download, see, you could download the flat pack here, uh, but we're going to download the app image. So now we just wanna go into our download folder and we're gonna right click this app image and go down to properties, click the permissions tab and check the box that says is executable and that will allow you to run it like an application. The rest of this guide is going to apply whether you're launching the app image just like this Execute. Or, okay, this is the app image. Or if you're just going to run the uh, Flatpak version that we installed from the Discover Store, which we can find by just doing this. Boom. So either way you choose to run this app, it's going to work exactly the same. And so now all you have to do is click Add Version. And we're doing Proton GE and the latest will always be at the top. So we're gonna download GE Proton 7-14 and click install. Now, this is automatically going to create this Steam folder. 
it's automatically going to download it and put it in the right place so that when you want to choose the version of Proton to run, this is all you have to do. On desktop Steam, just right click your game and then go down to uh, properties, click the compatibility option and choose, there it is, GE Proton 7-14. If you want your game to uh, go back to Proton Experimental, which is the default with Steam, you can just uncheck that box. And I'll show you how to do it real quick in, uh, in the Steam Deck UI. It's actually uh, very similar visually. So you just go over to the gear icon on the right side, drop down to properties, hit that compatibility tab, and just like in the desktop version, you can choose which Proton you wanna use. Now by default, the Steam Deck and your Steam Linux client should be using Proton Experimental. And so if that's not working for you, then that's when you want to go for an older version of Proton or ideally a newer version of Glorious Egg Rolls Proton. If you guys have any questions about gaming on Linux or the Steam Deck, drop them below in the comments. And uh, if, I, if I tend to see a few of the same questions popping up, I will do my best to make a video on it. Thanks a ton for watching. If it helped you out, click the like button. If you wanna see more of it, click the subscribe button. And until we chat again, you guys take care and take care of each other. Bye.